Hello lovely people of YouTube and welcome back to Mark on Life. This is the very last vlog of the year. So I want to talk about 2016. So let's do it. First of all, as always, I want to thank everybody for watching the first series of Real Perspectives. Uh, I'm going to go into um, the series a little bit later on in this vlog. But for whoever uh, hasn't seen uh, episode eight particularly, which is Home Alone, I'll put a link uh, in the description and a link to all the previous episodes. Now, the last episode was a bit more um, serious in its message, still fun, still comedy, but because I wanted to also have a look at sort of loneliness and depression, um, had a bit more of a serious tone. And um, for anyone that hasn't seen it, there's also a load of information in the description of charities and organizations that deal with that type of thing. So if you know anybody that needs that kind of help, then get in touch. So, 2016. Hmm. Now I'm not gonna go into the more contentious, dramatic uh, parts of the year, like Brexit and the United States presidential election and celebrity deaths and all that kind of stuff. Firstly, because I don't want to be massively political on this channel at the moment, but also because it's been discussed a hundred times in other places, probably better and in, in more detail than here. This is just my wrap up of 2016, what's happened to me, the good bits, the bad bits, and then hopefully you can tell me what's happened to you. So first thing that changed was I did some more fitness stuff. Now you may not know this, but I've done martial arts for most of my life. I used to teach uh, karate Shotokan Karate for a long time and then trained in uh, Chen style Tai Chi Chuan and Wing Chun Kung Fu and a few others and then Shaolin Kung Fu is the most recent um, but I haven't trained in a while and so my fitness level has been steadily going down so this year I started running properly which I thought would be a good thing because you know it's very cheap get, your, get yourself a pair of shoes and and off you go so uh, I did, and for anyone who's started running but hates it or, or dreads the idea of it, it will get better, I promise you. First time I went round the block a few times and was <sighs> huffing and puffing and it wasn't fun. And very quickly your body just seems to adjust. Um, I think my, my best has, has been about six, six and a half miles now, which for me is phenomenal. I'm sure there are people out there who would go, that's nothing at all. But for me, seeing that progression was quite good. So that's been a big change. Um, hopefully, will lead to sort of healthy eating in the new year uh, as well. I did join a gym, but like many people, haven't really been going particularly regularly. Um, I've always found it really difficult to to eat properly. Um, eating healthily is okay. You just cut out all the the rubbish. But eating enough to build muscle, eating huge amounts of protein every day is really tricky. So that's the bit that I'm gonna struggle with in the new year. But I promise I will start going and I will start eating more and properly. That, that's something that I uh, have in store for the new year. I've also started reading a lot more sci-fi. Decided to go right back to the beginning of like the, the origins of sci-fi writing, people like uh, Isaac Asimov because, I mean, these Arthur C. Clarke, they've been ripped off so many times um, in modern things that I wanted to go back and try them out. And they're really good. Whoever, um, if anybody who hasn't read that kind of stuff, go back to the beginning. It's where it all started. And they're really, really fascinating books. In terms of acting, it's been a pretty good year, I think, actually. Started off the year uh, with a play, hadn't done a play in uh, a year or two, so it was really, really good to get back into the theatre. It was a play called The Cause, um, which was directed by Andrew Shepherd, who is now over at uh, Theatre 503. Um, brilliant, thank you very much, Andrew, for, for casting me. Um, a great show about um, the beginning of World War One. so not exactly... Uh, fun comedy stuff but it did have laughs in there it was very interesting for me to learn about that period because I didn't know anything about it um, so that was really good then did some comedy stuff with the BBC um, with a show called uh, SAS Socially Awkward Situations uh, a survival guide um, with uh, 
director Dipak Patel and uh, there was also Kirsty Mann and Harris Ruskantha in it, which was great fun. Those videos are all still on YouTube, so I'll put a link in the description for them as well. Then, um, for those that don't know, I do improv um, comedy quite a lot, so that's always fun. Um, so this year, I have done a couple of gigs with a short form group that I guessed for called The Inflatables, run by Andrew Gentili. Um, really, really fun group. And then I became part of a brand new long form group called Cluster Fox, who are fantastic. If you see them advertised, you should probably go and see one of their shows in London. Um, they're a long form group. So we've been rehearsing for them for the last um, four or five months and we're starting to, to do gigs. And um, the next one I know of is the Shoreditch Improv uh, Festival but we'll probably do ones before that, but that's the next one I know is definitely happening. Um, as well as doing a couple of um, levels at the FA, the Free Association, which is a great uh, improv uh, training uh, center. And then the biggest thing is YouTube. I still wouldn't call myself a YouTuber. I don't think I've earned that uh, title properly yet, but this is one of the biggest things. Um, Anybody that is an actor or knows an actor knows it's a, it's a profession where you, you very rarely feel like you have any control. And so to be able to do something that controls your output is, is great. And that's why I wanted to do this project um, in general. And so I you know imposed on myself that I would do a video every single week and an episode of the new series that I started, Real Perspectives, every two weeks, which at the start was easy, but became more difficult as I caught up with myself and um, it's actually quite a struggle to, to, to do it, considering the complexity of them sometimes. Um, and so I'm very proud of the first series. I'm not sure why I'm calling it a series, because it will continue, but I just wanted to sort of end it for the year. Um, so that has become series one. So just to recap on series one, we had episode one, which was Jaws, the first one. Again, the first episode, just trying things out, the idea in my head and just wanted to have fun with it really. And uh, I really like that one, it's really fun. Episode two, uh, The Birds. Um, this is where sort of weird costumes became a definite part of the series. Um, I love this one. Windy in the Park, which was annoying, and I've learned from that definitely, but still I really enjoyed doing it. I think it came out really nicely as well. Episode three, uh, Predator. This one was really fun. Um, some more technical stuff in this one, and I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was really silly, really funny. Episode four, Halloween. The Halloween special, which was Halloween. Um, love this character, uh, quite strange, walking around the streets of London in a Michael Myers mask and a traffic warden outfit, but really enjoyable. Some, some extra technical stuff in this one, as I talked about in a previous vlog with ADR, shooting outside is always a bit difficult, um, but I think, again, I think it came out quite nicely and I'm, I'm proud of that one. Episode 5, Terminator. I really like this one. This is one I wanted to do for ages. Um, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to do it. I had a few options and I just think it's so silly, um, which is basically all of them. All of them are just really silly and really fun. I hope people like them and um, yeah, I like that one. Uh, episode six, maybe my favourite one of the series, The Never Ending Story. Love this character. Falcor is one of my all-time movie heroes. And so to, to, to do him was, was so much fun. And to also do the ridiculous fur costume made it extra special. Um, people seem to really respond to that one as their favorite of the series. And I think it might be mine too. Number seven was The Omen. This is slightly different because there's no costume really other than a bit of eye makeup. Um, it's more of a sort of character piece and more about the scripts. And funnily enough, this is the one that I had planned for longest. Um, this one I'd written for ages and just wasn't quite sure when to do it. Um, and 
he will be coming back. Damien will be returning, and I'm going to give you some more information next year about that one. And the final episode, episode eight, the Christmas special, Home Alone, one of the greatest Christmas films of all time. Brilliant film, and wanted to do something a little bit different with it. I had a few other ideas for Christmas that I was going to do. I might have done a reindeer one or some a uh, few other things. Settled on Home Alone, and as I said before, it was funny, but I wanted to do a bit more of a serious message with this one as well. So that's it. Um, thank you so much again for everybody who watched every episode. Uh, you know who you are. Your support has been absolutely vital. I've appreciated it so much. Every single person that pushed the like button, shared it on their social media, you know, double tapped on the Instagram photos, left a comment. You are all fantastic. Um, and anybody that can go back and do those things or, or for the next series, it helps as creators, it helps us so much because YouTube is all about engagement, um, how long people stay watching your videos and coming back again and again. So thank you so much if you have helped with that. It's really, really, really appreciated. And last but not least, Christmas. I really like Christmas. Um, it's not a religious time for me at all, but I really like seeing my family and friends and everybody's off at the same time. I like giving gifts, especially to um, my little nieces and um, Christmas food particularly. I would eat mince pies and mulled wine all year round. They are fantastic. Christmas food, big fan. Um, I like the decorations and everybody seems in quite a good mood. In London there's loads of great stuff like Winter Wonderland and the sort of mini Winter Wonderland down on the South Bank. Um, there's just there's just a lovely sort of atmosphere everywhere. Um, and so on to New Year. Um, come uh, 2017, I will be carrying on with a video every single week. For a few weeks it's going to be more vloggy kind of compilation type stuff before the next series of sketches starts. Um, but there will be something every single week. Um, and so I'll have much more information as to exactly what's coming from the channel. But there will definitely be a video to see every week here. And I just want to thank everybody that has stuck with it and supported me so far. Please, please um, continue and hopefully I'll get some more stuff uh, out for you. So from me, Mark, and from Mark on Life, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a fantastic new year. And I'll see you in 2017. Should probably click here. Or here. Up to you.